One minute ago, scientists announced a discovery beneath Bermuda that should not exist. 20 kilometers of rock where there should be none. A hidden mass defying every textbook diagram of how the Earth's crust is supposed to behave. For decades, geologists whispered about Bermuda's impossible elevation, the way it floats above the Atlantic seafloor like a phantom. Now, seismic waves have revealed the answer, and it rewrites everything we thought we understood about volcanic islands. What force is holding Bermuda above water? Why does this structure exist nowhere else on Earth? And what ancient catastrophe left this geological scar beneath the waves? The Bermuda Triangle has consumed imaginations for generations, ships vanishing without trace, aircraft disappearing into clear skies, compass needles spinning wildly as electronics fail. But every scientist who has studied the region knows the truth. The real mystery was never about disappearances. The real mystery has always been beneath the surface, beneath the coral, beneath the limestone. 20 kilometers down where something massive and inexplicable waits in the dark. The numbers tell a story that should be impossible. Bermuda is a volcanic island, born from magma that erupted through the seafloor 33 million years ago. The volcano built a seamount over 4,000 meters tall, breaking through the waves to form an island. Then the eruption stopped, the magma cooled. The dense volcanic rock should have begun sinking back into the mantle, dragging the island down with it. This is the life cycle of every volcanic island. Heat fades, buoyancy disappears, the crust cools and contracts, growing denser, heavier, pulling the island beneath the waves. Hawaii survives because it sits above an active mantle plume. Heat rising from deep in the earth keeps the crust buoyant. But Bermuda's last eruption occurred 31 million years ago. There is no plume, no heat, no volcanic activity at all. Yet Bermuda remains 500 meters higher than the surrounding seafloor. For decades, geologists stared at bathymetric maps and could not reconcile what they saw. The island's chain should have drowned millions of years ago. The oceanic swell beneath Bermuda should have collapsed. But it persists, elevated, defiant as if something beneath the crust is holding it up. Every theory failed to explain it. Scientists proposed thermal anomalies in the mantle, but temperature measurements found nothing unusual. They suggested dynamic support from mantle convection, but the seismic data showed no evidence of upwelling. They examined the possibility of a dying plume, but the volcanic rocks did not match that pattern. Year after year, conference after conference, Bermuda remained an anomaly a geological impossibility written in stone. The breakthrough came from listening to earthquakes. William Fraser of Carnegie Science and Jeffrey Park of Yale University turned to a method called receiver function analysis. They used recordings from a permanent seismic station on Bermuda, collecting data from 396 distant earthquakes. Each earthquake sent seismic waves through the planet. As those waves crossed boundaries between different rock layers, they converted from one type to another. By measuring the time delay between these conversions, the scientists could map the subsurface structure down to 50 kilometers depth. The waves revealed four distinct layers beneath Bermuda, the volcanic edifice, the oceanic crust, the moho boundary between crust and mantle, and then something else, a fourth layer, enormous, unprecedented, extending from 10.8 kilometers to 32 kilometers below the surface a mass of rock 20 kilometers thick, sitting where there should be nothing but normal mantle. Seismic waves travel at 7.3 kilometers per second through this layer, faster than crustal rock, but slower than mantle. The density is intermediate, lower than the mantle it replaced, higher than normal crust. The structure acts like a geological raft, a massive platform of buoyant material frozen in place beneath the island. This is magmatic underplating on a scale never documented before. At other volcanic islands, similar layers have been detected. Beneath Hawaii, underplating extends 5 to 10 kilometers thick. Beneath the Canary Islands, perhaps 8 kilometers. But 20 kilometers? Nothing comparable has ever been observed. The sheer mass of this structure places Bermuda in a category entirely its own. The discovery solves the mystery of why Bermuda has not sunk. Buoyancy is a matter of density. When volcanic islands form, magma rises from the mantle and erupts at the surface, but not all magma makes it to the top. 
some freezes inside the crust, trapped between the seafloor and the depths below. This trapped magma is less dense than the surrounding mantle rock. It creates positive buoyancy, a cushion that lifts the crust above. In Bermuda's case, the underplated layer is approximately 50 kilograms per cubic meter, lighter than the mantle it replaced. That difference may sound small, but across 20 kilometers of depth and hundreds of square kilometers of area, it generates enormous upward force. The structure elevates the seafloor by 500 meters. It prevents the island from sinking. It acts as a permanent foundation, supporting the archipelago millions of years after the volcano went silent. But the real question is why this layer formed at all. Standard models of oceanic geology do not predict structures like this. At most volcanic islands, magma rises through the crust and erupts. Some magma cools along the way, forming small intrusions or dikes, but nothing approaching 20 kilometers of continuous underplating. The boundary between crust and mantle, the moho, should be a sharp transition. Oceanic crust is typically 6 to 7 kilometers thick. Below that lies mantle, dense, uniform, predictable. Bermuda has shattered that model. The presence of this layer suggests something went catastrophically wrong during Bermuda's volcanic phase. Magma rose from the mantle transition zone, a region 250 to 400 miles below the surface. But instead of erupting smoothly, it stalled. The thick, stable lithosphere beneath Bermuda resisted fracture. The magma could not punch through. It spread laterally instead, pooling beneath the crust like blood beneath a bruise. Then it froze in place, solidifying into the massive structure seismologists have now detected. This process is known as magmatic underplating, but Bermuda's version is extreme. Researchers have proposed multiple mechanisms to explain how such a thick layer could form. One hypothesis involves volatile rich melts from the mantle transition zone. These melts, enriched in water and carbon dioxide, could have altered the composition of the mantle beneath Bermuda, creating a buoyant residue. Another theory suggests metasomatic processes, where fluids percolating through the mantle reacted with rock, transforming dense mantle into lighter material. Partial serpentinization has also been considered. When seawater infiltrates mantle rock through cracks in the crust, it chemically alters the minerals, producing serpentine. This process reduces density and could contribute to buoyancy. However, serpentinization typically occurs at shallower depths, and the temperatures beneath Bermuda may have been too high for extensive serpentinization to occur. The truth is, scientists still do not fully understand how Bermuda's underplate formed. The scale of the structure exceeds anything predicted by current models. Multiple processes may have worked in tandem, each contributing to the final result. What is certain is that this layer exists, and its presence challenges fundamental assumptions about how oceanic crust behaves. The implications extend far beyond Bermuda. Until now, geologists assumed that volcanic islands without active plumes would eventually subside and disappear. But Bermuda proves that islands can survive for tens of millions of years, propped up by ancient magmatic structures. These fossil layers can persist long after volcanism ends, maintaining elevation through sheer buoyancy. The mantle does not erase all traces of volcanic activity. It preserves them, fossilizes them in rock. Other islands may harbor similar structures. Fraser's team is now examining seismic data from volcanic islands around the globe, searching for comparable underplating. The Azores, the Canary Islands, the Cape Verde Islands, each of these archipelagos sits on oceanic swells that persist despite the absence of active volcanism. If similar structures exist beneath them, it would confirm that Bermuda is not an isolated anomaly, but the first documented example of a widespread phenomenon. The key difference may lie in Bermuda's location. 33 million years ago, when Bermuda's volcano erupted, the island sat near the former interior of Pangaea. The supercontinent had broken apart 200 million years earlier, but its influence lingered. The lithosphere beneath Bermuda was thicker and more rigid than typical oceanic crust. 
deep structural scars from Pangaea's assembly and breakup still threaded through the mantle, redirecting magma flows and creating weak zones where magma could accumulate. Pangaea's breakup was violent and chaotic. Around 200 million years ago, tectonic forces tore the supercontinent apart. Rifts opened across the landmass. Magma surged upward, flooding the crust with basaltic lava. The Central Atlantic Magmatic Province, one of the largest volcanic events in Earth's history, erupted along the seams where North America separated from Africa. New oceanic crust formed. The Atlantic Ocean was born. But the breakup left scars. Subducted slabs from ancient oceans were shoved into the mantle, enriching it with volatiles. These slabs sank to the transition zone where they remained stored for hundreds of millions of years. When Bermuda's volcano erupted 33 million years ago, it may have tapped into this reservoir. The magma that rose to create Bermuda was not typical mantle material. It was enriched in carbon, water, and other volatiles from subducted crust. This composition made the magma lighter and more buoyant, increasing the likelihood that it would stall beneath the crust rather than erupt. Bermuda is not just a volcanic island. It is a window into Earth's ancient past. The underplated layer beneath the island is a frozen record of tectonic processes that occurred hundreds of millions of years ago. It preserves evidence of Pangaea's assembly and destruction, it captures the moment when rising magma encountered thick, resistant lithosphere and froze in place. It is a geological fossil, as informative as any bone or shell. The discovery raises uncomfortable questions about what else might be hidden beneath the ocean floor. If Bermuda harbors a 20-kilometer thick layer of underplated rock, how many other structures lie undetected beneath the waves? The ocean covers 71% of Earth's surface, seismic stations are sparse, many regions have never been imaged with the resolution needed to detect structures like Bermuda's. The standard models of oceanic crust may be based on incomplete data, extrapolated from a handful of well-studied locations. Bermuda may be the first, but it is unlikely to be the last. Researchers are already planning seismic surveys of other oceanic swells, the Kerglin Plateau in the Indian Ocean, the Ontong Java Plateau in the Pacific, the Iceland Plateau in the North Atlantic. Each of these features exhibits unusual elevation and volcanic history. If similar underplating is found, it would force a complete revision of how geologists understand oceanic islands and their evolution. The human story of Bermuda is one of fragility. Over half a million people live in the archipelago today, most unaware of the geological anomaly beneath their feet. The islands themselves are limestone caps, built from coral and sediment accumulated over millions of years. The volcanic basement lies 75 meters below sea level, hidden beneath layers of carbonate rock. If sea levels rise, as climate projections suggest, the islands could be inundated. The buoyant layer beneath will keep the seafloor elevated, but it cannot prevent the ocean from swallowing the land above. Yet, the discovery of the underplate offers a strange comfort. Bermuda has survived for 33 million years not by chance, but because of a hidden structure that defies the normal rules of geology. The island is anchored to a geological raft, a fossil of ancient volcanism that has outlasted ice ages, extinctions, and the slow grinding of continents. It is a testament to the planet's ability to preserve its own history in ways we are only beginning to understand. But questions remain. Scientists know the underplate exists. They know its thickness, its density, its seismic velocity. They know it is the reason Bermuda has not sunk, but they do not know if the structure is truly unique or if dozens of similar layers lie hidden beneath other islands. They do not know if the formation process that created Bermuda's underplate still operates today or if it was limited to the chaotic period following Pangaea's breakup. And they do not know what other geological secrets the ocean floor conceals. Bermuda's underplate is unlike anything else documented on Earth, a 20-kilometer thick layer of rock that should not exist, a geological raft holding an island above the waves, a frozen record of ancient volcanism and tectonic upheaval. The discovery has rewritten our understanding of how volcanic islands survive, but it has also opened new questions. How many other structures like this exist beneath the ocean? 
what other impossibilities are waiting to be discovered?